Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of SIDS Reviews and today, today I am very excited because this is probably my favorite piece of electronics that I own. This is the Riga Planar P1 Turntable and I'll be reviewing this and giving you all the specs and telling you why that I'm back into vinyl and I think you should be too. Coming right up. Okay, so back a couple of years ago when I decided I wanted to get my own two-channel dedicated uh, music system, uh, the components that I needed obviously were I needed a pair of speakers, I needed an integrated amp that did uh, Bluetooth and had other features, maybe a phono preamp as well. I wanted to get a CD player and then I wanted to also get a turntable. Some of my friends were telling me, well, why do you want to get back into vinyl and stuff like that? It's a big mess. But I think at the heart of every system is a good turntable. So then I began the journey of researching different turntables because I never purchased one before. So I was looking on the internet through all the makes and uh, manufacturers, obviously. There's lots of choices out there. You know, you got Project and Music Hall and U-Turn and Riga and um, Audio Technica. And I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. Um, but then when I got onto the Riga website, it really uh, started to pique my interest on there. First of all, there's lots of information about the company. Um, and I was really surprised to learn that they mat hand manufacture all these turntables in England. So I really appreciated that. Um, the company's been around for a long time, so that was really important to me. They've been in business since 1973, making turntables. So, And uh, I, I like the fact that uh, when they make it there, obviously the quality control is right there. All the parts and everything kind of fit seamlessly together, and I think uh, they would have been a good choice, so that's the one I picked. And I picked this one, the Planar One. And now I'm going to let you know kind of what the features are, how it was to set it up, and uh, how the sound is. So I'll describe all that in the next segment. Coming right up. Okay, setting up this turntable out of the box couldn't be more simple. It's literally like two or three steps. So here we go. This is the counterweight that comes with it and you just slip it on the end here of the tone arm. There's a stop there. So once it hits there, that's the end. And then here's the, the record platter that comes with it. As you can see here, the uh, this was just hooked on with tape, so all you need to do is just take a piece of tape off, and the belt drive is already connected to the to the motor to the motor wheel here. So then, this you just take on the the platter, just slip it on, and then you just plug it in, and you're ready to go. For those wanting to see the back of the RP1, here it is. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's a uh, a detached uh, power cord uh, so that's for the uh, 24 volt uh, motor on there and then you just get the RCA cord here coming out of the back now one thing that I am disappointed is as I wish this was uh, detached so you could put on your own RCA cords at the back but uh, it is built in unfortunately um, but uh, it kind of is what it is I guess so that's about it that's the back of the unit here one thing I appreciate about this turntable is the simplistic nature of it. I mean, there's no dials, there's no switches, anything visible here. The only switch is right under here, and that's the on-off switch for the uh, for the turntable. Otherwise, you know, it's very simple to use. Everything is manual on it. Uh, you know, you just put the uh, put the tone arm over and just lower it here with the uh, with the lever put it back on you know there's nothing automatic about this it's not going to auto return anything everything is going to be manually driven here and there's no real features or anything on it there's not even a phono preamp on it so to get this uh, record player working you need either an integrated amp with a built-in phono preamp or you have to purchase a separate phono preamp for this player but I think the simplicity in it uh, you know Riga spent all their money on the construction on the sturdy build of it and obviously the uh, components here and uh, it's all based around uh, getting the most bang out of your buck so it's all about I think the sound quality of this um, which let's talk about the sound quality of this turntable shall we so as mentioned before uh, this is kind of the bare bones turntable as you see what you get um, you know there's no features on it there's no it's not automatic to even change the speed 
on the records here, you have to um, move the uh, the band here up and down to play, you know, the 33s or uh, uh, or your 78s. So, you know, there's not, not really many features in here, but, uh, you know, I really do appreciate the clean look of this turntable. Uh, it doesn't even have a uh, phono preamp at the back, so, you know, uh, keep that in mind for when you purchase uh, this turntable. You're going to need a phono preamp in your integrated amp or uh, purchase one separately uh, to get this turntable up and running. So then it begs uh, the question, if uh, Riga didn't put any real features in this turntable, well, where did all the money go? Well, I think it went into, obviously, the construction of the, uh, of the plinth of the uh, tone arm here into the 24 volt uh, low noise motor when this thing turns on you can't even hear it spinning around at all so it's really quiet that way um, so they put all the money into the sound of this turntable and what is the sound like well when i first turned it on i was very surprised i haven't heard a vinyl uh, record player in a very long time probably since the mid 80s when uh you know i listened to my uh my dad's lloyd's uh, turntable uh back in the day so you know obviously i remember it back then being you know you kind of uh the music comes out of it but it's not very good a lot of scratches uh it sounds very thin wasn't very dynamic and that could have been more you know the whole speaker uh you know the speakers that they're using and stuff like that or the rest of the components but once I purchased this and put this on for the very first time, I was like, wow, this is what vinyl sounds like. I'm talking this uh, record player, it's very uh, punchy, uh, very dynamic, revealing. Um, I heard stuff in records that I've heard before and I don't remember hearing like, uh, you know, certain instruments and, and notes and, uh, and voices as clear as this. Uh, I'm telling you, if people, uh, hear this record player and haven't heard vinyl in a very long time they're going to be very surprised as to what the sounds like uh, even playing old records on it I got Beatles records from you know the uh, the mid 60s uh, first pressings and stuff and I can't believe how good it sounds on here so um, this record player does a great job with bringing the music getting all the music that it can out of the grooves of these records and uh, and I applaud them for it. I think Riga did a bang up job, especially for an entry level uh, turntable like this. So good job on Riga for that. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit more of the sound um, of this uh, record player and in vinyl in general, because I know there's a lot of people out there that are resistant to get back into vinyl. You know, they had their um, records back in the day in the 80s and they listened to them and all they remember is all the bad things about, you know, records and playing them. You know, obviously the um, records are big, they're bulky, um, they have to clean them, you have to take care of them, they can be warped, they could skip. Um, you know, with scratches and stuff like that. Um, but let me tell you my experience about getting back into this and into the sound. It's, it's, been, it's been so great. And, you know, I'm that guy still that streams. I'm still that guy that, that plays CDs. I know the advantages of that stuff. I know the convenience of streaming, picking up your phone and just connecting it to a Bluetooth speaker and just on your way and go and have all the variety of music. And, uh, you know, it, it still sounds good. I, I get that. But there's something about getting back into vinyl and putting on a record and hearing something that you haven't heard in a long time. And let me tell you, with the way that these turntables are made, and this Riga is no exception, even the bare bones one. Uh, I know $600 is a lot of money still, and you could get some for cheaper though. You got Fluence tables for like $300. You can even start off with a $200 turntable. But as you move up, you get to realize what the sound is. And what it's like is extremely engaging um, engaging not only the fact that you know just putting on a record and you know having to turn it over and stuff I miss kind of doing that uh, every once in a while but it's the sound that brings you back on it you could ABC um, you could ABC test it if you'd like take a CD uh, that you own I have let's say back in black I tried this you put on back in black on CD you stream it and then put on the record of this I guarantee you that after listening to all three, this is the one you'll prefer on it. It's just more 
slam to it. It's like it's it's getting more out of the music. It doesn't sound thin. It's very punchy, um, very dynamic. It's hard to explain that you know analog shouldn't be sounding this good. You know, the stats would say that streaming all the dots and all that stuff, and you know, it sounds perfect. There's no skipping. There's no scratches. I don't know. You come back to a record, a record player, and a record and you put it on and you're going to be very surprised on how it sounds. I am. This is the most, uh, uh, this is the component I use the most in my system and there's a good reason why. It just sounds better. It does. It sounds better. Okay, now I'm going to go over the pros and cons of uh, this turntable. Um, the first pro I believe is it's very easy to set up. So even for beginners, you don't have any uh, real measurements to do here. You just put on the counterweight on it, um, put the platter on it, uh, take off a little bit of tape that's already applied onto the turntable. I believe the uh, tone arm had some tape on it But otherwise you just plug it in and you're ready to go even the uh, cartridge is uh, is pre-installed on it So you'd be ready to go for that um, I do like the clean look of it as well as a pro. I, I think it it looks great You know the switches underneath everything's kind of hidden and it's just a uh, clean look for a turntable I like it better uh, obviously with the cover off, but it does have um, it's a uh, own dust cover as well uh, on it that's included so that's also a plus um, and then obviously the other pro is the sound so it's a very you know getting back into vinyl very uh, punchy revealing dynamic sound um, very musical I guess a lot of reviewers say uh, about this turntable but I think it's really uh, engaging so putting on records back again Everything I put on it, I found that the record uh, sounded very, you know, it, it delved into the grooves um, very well, uh, got the most out of the records for it. And it was just, every time I put it on, it's an enjoyable listen. And I think that's all you could ask uh, for a turntable. Um, I think the sound on it is, is first class, and that's a testament to uh, Riga's la longevity of producing uh, quality turntables in there. Uh, cons for this turf table uh, probably just a couple I wish I think this cord you know I wish it was detachable um, it's just regular RCA cords to plug it into your uh, amp um, so it's uh, I wish it was detachable just to put on something a little bit better quality um, it uh, obviously the uh, to change the record speeds if you go from a 33 to a 78 or whatever you have to take off the platter and manually uh, switch that belt on there. A lot of other turntables have a, a switch on it, uh, um, its own speed switch. This one doesn't have that. Um, and the other thing is it doesn't have any uh, phono pre-out on it, so nothing built into it. So keep that in mind uh, when purchasing this table, you need to have an integrated app with its own phono preamp, or um, the other option is to purchase uh, a separate phono preamp for it uh, to get it uh, up and running. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. So uh, now let's go to my final thoughts, and we'll be right back. Okay, so let me tell you, getting back into vinyl has been so much fun, way more fun than I thought it would be um, from like, you know, playing these vinyl records to um, going out to the used record stores and finding those old records that you used to have or used to play, uh, finding stuff that you never uh, thought you'd find on vinyl and then putting it on to, just to see what it sounds like on this record player. It's just been so much fun. And in a couple of years, I've probably collected probably Oh, over a couple hundred records now. Uh, me and my buddy actually go out, you know, every weekend uh, to use record stores here in the city, and and you know try and look for uh, you know all that vinyl that we uh, that we want and want to get back into it. And uh, doing it with this Riga P1 has been uh, just spectacular. Um, this thing has been more than what I asked for. Like I said, um, I. I I was hoping that the quality would be good on these turntables and it did surpass it uh, with the uh, bare minimum for it but the uh, the sound of the vinyl to me is just it's just first rate on it uh, it's clear it's punchy and I think that anyone who's thinking of getting back into vinyl you certainly have a lot of choices out there as for record players you got great record players my buddy has a Fluence uh, record player which uh, I think he paid $300 for it he's very satisfied with it too it does sound really good 
Um, I've heard some project record players, music hall records, uh, record players. I haven't heard U-Turn, but their stuff looks really good too. So there's definitely a lot to choose from. Uh, definitely looks like there's a lot of quality turntables out there. But for me, this P1 has been an absolutely great buy. And uh, who knows, if everyone, uh, if anyone wants to get back into vinyl, there's a lot of choices out there. But for me, the P1 at uh, $600 was a great buy, and I'm really happy I made the jump into it. So that's it. What do you think of this review, everyone? If you like my take on reviews, please hit that uh, subscribe and uh, like button on there, and uh, hopefully you can join me for the next uh, SIDS review. I'm Dale, and keep on spinning vital.